Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows Server 2019 and Windows 10 clients in a lab environment using a VMware Workstation 16 uh, Pro. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to go to uh, after, of course, installing Windows uh, after installing VMware, I need to launch VM VMware Workstation Pro. I'm using uh, version 16. So uh, first thing first, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to close this one here, and then I'm going to go here, and then new virtual machine. You can actually do it also through, okay, through create new virtual machine, okay, so either way. So uh, I'm going to go with typical. And hit next then i'm going to go i will install the operating system later and then i'm going to choose what windows of course the operating system is windows uh, microsoft windows and then i'm going to choose uh, windows server 2019 and then i'm going to hit next we could give it a name you could name it whatever you like okay just make sure that the it's windows server 2019 something that uh, Okay, refer to the server and then I'm going to go with the default location it's in the document virtual machines and Windows Server 2019 right there okay. so I'm going to click next I'm going to go with the default it's 60 gig okay make sure 60 I think it's enough for our lab so uh, and I'm going to select store the virtual disk in a single file I'm going to hit next and after that, I'm going to customize the hardware, okay? So first of all, we need to uh, tell the virtual or VMware where is the ISO file located. So when you download the ISO file, either to your download or document or to what, whatever, you know, uh, folder that you download the ISO file. So I'm going to browse into downloads. So I'm going to go to downloads here and I'm going to select, okay, the uh, eval version of uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2019. And then I'm going to select it right there. And the second thing that wanna, I want to actually configure, the RAM 2 gig, I think it's enough. So 2 gig for the server and 1 gig for the client will be more than enough. If you have more RAM, like 16, laptop with 16 gig or 8 gig, you could go with 3 or 4 gig, which would be much better. Processors, I'm going to go with one physical processor and two cores, okay? I'm going to select those virtual features here for the CPU. And then I'm going to go with, um, yeah, so this is very important. So uh, before we do anything here, I'm going to go under the edit. I'm going to close. I'm going to save and close. So I'm going to select VMware 0. I'm going to tell you what's, what this means. And then I'm going to go to edit. And then virtual network editor. So for the server, we're going to need two interfaces. One will be a public interface that will simulate the connection to the internet okay um, so we have um, let me uh, change settings yeah as I uh, said okay one interface will be connected to simulate the connection to the internet okay which will be VMware 0 that's the bridge could actually go with automatic or we could select uh, I think automatic would be better so if you are connected either wireless or wired it will actually bridge the connection so we we'll get IP address from your default gateway okay and then uh, we are gonna go with VM1 okay and make sure VM1 is a set to host only this is simulates the private network okay that will be connected to the uh, Windows 10 client, okay? And, um, okay, so we could use, for example, let's say, um, 
let's say here we could use for example because we have we are running 192 um, on my home network so I'm going to use 10.0.0. for example let's say 0 and I don't want to use local DHCP uh, to distribute IP addresses because I'm going to run okay DHCP on my Windows server uh, okay so this will give uh, the client's machines IP addresses so make sure you configure the IP address the mask slash 24 mask and then use uh, don't select the or deselect if it's selected by default deselect the DHCP service okay and hit enter so we have two interfaces one is bridged to uh, the whatever uh, adapter you have on your uh, computer and one is custom and it's host only it's a private private network connecting the server to the host okay and I'm gonna hit OK now right there I'm gonna explain a little bit so about the connection so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna use an epic pen and I'm going to show you how the connection will look like so uh, let's say here we have a server right change the color probably let's uh, use different color here probably blue would be nice so let's say this is the uh, the server here okay this is the server running active directory right there and then one connection will go to the okay to the cloud this is the internet okay and one connection will connect to the uh, client machines okay so we're gonna configure Windows 10 as a client machine this is a private interface I'm gonna write P in here this is VM net and this is a public interface okay this is private and this is public interface okay the public interface emulating the connection to the internet okay of course you can connect also windows 10 okay uh, to the cloud as well with two interfaces uh, but later on we're going to take out the connection to the internet so we could actually uh, configure something called net so the uh, windows 10 clients will go to the internet through the server okay so uh, without, with all this being said, let's actually uh, start the configuration. Let's delete the bridge first, and then I'm going to start the installation of Windows Server. So, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to power on the machine. And hit enter so you need to be fast enough and make sure you click inside the uh, the window here uh, if you are a um, new user to VMware you can actually control out to release okay the mouse control out will release the mouse as you can see it's mentioned right here okay click in the virtual machine screen to send keystrokes like this and then as you can see control alt will release the mouse cursor okay so it will take a while to load the files we could start also the installation of um, Windows 10 client just want to, um, I think I forgot to add two networks, okay, so we could do that later. So one adapter is VM0 and the second adapter, I'm going to add it right now if it allows me. The other adapter will be, okay, will be um, custom and VM net. This is the private interface. So now we have two interfaces that are connected to the server, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. 
can see the server is shut down as I add because I forgot to add the interfaces so we have two interfaces right there and yeah we're zooming the installation now I'm gonna go with the Icelandic you can choose whatever okay format you need this depends on your location and then I'm gonna go with the um, US for the keyboard using US keyboard the install language is English United States install which will take a couple of seconds Just want to mention, I don't want to forget it, so um, it's good to mention it. So we can go with, um, yeah, let me do this first and then, um, yeah, we could go with standard edition, evaluation, 64 bit. We could also go with standard edition desktop experience. If you want a more beautiful um, graphical user interface. We could do just with standard evaluation, okay? I'm gonna go with standard evaluation desktop experience and then next. Okay, next. Then of course I need to select fresh install by selecting install windows only advanced. We are not upgrading, we are installing fresh installation. The disk is 60 gig by default selected, we're going to say next it will format the hard disk and it's okay, going to proceed so uh, the thing that I want to mention is uh, when we finish the installation the first thing to do guys is to take a snapshot okay, by clicking here okay, by clicking right here you can go to snapshot and it takes snapshots because we have we will uh, if you want to do like lab number one, lab two, lab three, couple of labs. So it's better to take snapshot whenever you want to reset your server to uh, default. You could actually revert it to the first snapshot. Okay, so I don't want to take snapshot right now. I will do it when I finish. Okay, installing the uh, Windows Server. Because um, in the lab, we're going to install Active Directory, we're going to install um, our services and features and rules. So make sure you take snapshot before you do lab number one. So uh, that's it. Okay, installation is baking. Uh, your computer may restart once. Okay, um, and pretty much that's it. So, yeah. For Windows 10, the same steps, okay, uh, and don't forget to uh, add two networks, okay, by going to edit and add VMware 0 and VM 1 net, okay, and go into settings before you start the installation and add, okay, uh, those two adapters. So one is for the public interface connecting us to the internet and one is private, okay connecting us to the uh, Windows 10 client. And as I mentioned for Windows 10 installation, it's the same. Just download the eval uh, version from Microsoft Center and then uh, follow the same steps to install Windows 10. So I hope uh, this has been informative for you guys and I would like to thank you for viewing.